Bloody hell, what was that? Sounded painful if you ask me. Better not be those dogs up to something. I swear if it is. Not everything's the dogs, Johnny. You look like shit, mate. You are right. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the lab rat, you made it out. You're in a right state, ain't you? Never had a crash down here before. Name's Gaunt. Sebastian Gaunt. And these dredges are Chill Winston and Johnny Shrapnel. But you can ignore Johnny. We're the Vagabonds. We're the roughest, toughest, sharpest gang round these parts. Not like the dogs. Snuff it, Johnny. Don't scare away our new acquaintance. So, who are you exactly? Only the gentry use those trains. Looks like you're the wayfarer now, like the rest of us. The... The Isle of Dogs Syndicate. Johnny gets a bit excited about them. Lewisham, or what's left of it. Yeah, he was supposed to be a supply run. We bought the location off someone in Thameshaven. Some old construction papers. Well then, Wayfarer. Seems like you've got two choices. You could head down that way to the Thames folk. Ain't exactly pleasant to look at, but appearances can be deceiving. They may even know a thing or two about that lab, seeing as they sold us the location. Otherwise, you can stick it out with me and my mates. We help you out, you help us out. Ace, we could use an extra pair of hands. Here, take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. Right, as this seems to be a prime rabbit in the head kind of situation, I'll give you a rundown of all two in old blight, shall I? First up, there's us. We're the Vagabonds. Used to be big names in South London till a couple of things went awry. But enough about that till later. The cunts who made things go awry are the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. There's a fucking lot of them. And they all walk around with the gentry reserves in their sky rocket, so they've got tickets to burn. They got that bees and honey dancing with the gentry. The gentry rule from their ivory towers, pissing off their pedestals from Westminster. Forget trying to get in there. Those gates are tighter than a duck's arse. Why are they so tight, you ask? Because they've got the Tommies to defend them. Powerful enough to take the peace. Too stupid to keep it. Which means the occasional toe rags crop up and have a punt at blighty leadership. This brings me to the dress up factions. Take your pick Camelot, the only Tin Man Knights in Wandsworth, or if you fancy painting it black, you've the fifth column tyrants in Tower Hamlets. Next on the list, you've the twats in the periphery hooligans that'll smack you, beef eaters that leech you. Jack Tars will stick a cannon up your ass. Roundels in Hackney. Well, they keep to themselves unless you've got a thing against scooters. 
Miller's men are the slapheads over in Islington. Neighbouring next to them are the pistols in Camden and what's anarchy in the UK. All of that makes sense. So, as life dictates, you should probably stick with us. The rest you can work out yourself as I'm tired of all the logging. But yeah, if they shoot at you, they ain't your mate. Guns are more common round here these days. Ever since Enfield opened its doors to all and sundry, you'll need to keep your head down. You ain't in that test tube anymore, sunshine. Now, left, right, left, right. I think they call it walking. There it is, Greenwich Station. We've got a small camp across the road. Look where you The fuck? What? Ricky, what the fuck? They attacked us. Took us by surprise. How many? Two or three IODs. Fucking dogs. Fuck them all. And what the fuck were they doing here? They... They were... I feel faint. Christ, you're pathetic. If you hang Wait, around, Vera, wouldn't get a hurt first aid kit from We need the numbers. Station. You came back. Gaunt's gone. And he was the one with the medical know-how. Don't suppose you could fix me up? I feel slightly better. I'll sit here a while. Regain my strength. Thank you. Go to the Swan and Mitre. Give them dogs hell.
This is the British Broadcast Ministry. I'm Bradley Fortworth, your host and guide through the wonderful world of classical music. Welcome to the program. Let's begin. Whenever I listen to this piece, I think of my precious cuckoo clock here in the BBM studio. Where will we be without time? Up next is Camille Sensan's The Cuckoo. You just heard Camille Sensan's The Cuckoo, part of his pleasant carnival of animals. We wind up our days with toil and nights with sleep. May Debussy guide you through your night with his nuage.
You're all guns and no. Come on, I'll even give you a shot. We used to be something, but now? You're right. You the one helping out? Good to see you and everybody out together. Hey, you're that fresh face Gaunt mentioned. Good. Listen up. We got hit hard just there, but we managed to kill or capture every attacker, except one. I noticed a scout hang back and leg it when things swung our way. If they're bringing back up from the Isle of Dogs, we could be toast. I need you to stop them. They look to be beelining for the comm station north of here. I've got someone to trip the power on it remotely, but that'll only hold them so long. Go snuff out the hornet before it brings back the nest. The scout was a young lass. Denim fatigue, spiky hair. Should be easy to spot. Now go. If you need medical attention, I can take a look at you. But I can't do miracles. And wipe those questions off your tongue. We've got no time for that. Need help? Can't say I've treated a survivor of a rail accident before. This'll be interesting. There. You were suffering from some kind of psychological distress, probably brought on by the crash. That remedy should do the trick. Just remember those breathing exercises. <laughs> 